Okay, let's open the files on in Photoshop and display them onto your screen. I, I will check um, if it's okay. So I will work on that one. Okay, let's uh, put that picture in full screen mode with the F key on the keyboard. Then you are able to move the picture onto the screen with the space bar. With the space bar, you are able to move like that the picture onto the screen. Since you just put it in full screen mode. So let's save that file into PSD format. So file save us and ask for format Photoshop, the first on the top of, of the list. I will rename the file here because the name was all numbers and not very good. Okay, we'll have to select the color of the car. First, we'll make a row selection with the lasso tool here. Use the free lasso tool. And roughly make a selection of the car like that. Okay, you made, if you made some mistakes, it's not a problem. With the lasso tool, you may use the Alt key in order to remove some of the selection, like that. Okay. With the Alt key. And with the Shift key, you may add some part of the car, like that. If you've forgotten some parts, some coral parts of, of the car, you are able to add them with the shift key. Okay, great. So here, you don't have to try to make a nice selection. It is just a row selection. And we'll ask Photoshop to make a better selection inside of it. The purpose of that first selection is to um, cancel out some parts of the picture, um, mainly the parts that are blue. But in my picture, I don't have much blue parts except of the car itself. But in some other pictures, it's really useful to make that first selection in order to cancel out colors to tell Photoshop that that will not play a role in our final selection. So, we'll go now into the um, color range panel, but first put the car uh, on one side of your screen, because there's a dialog box that will come right now and uh, you will have to have some space for it. So don't zoom like that onto your car, just zoom out and put it on one side of your screen. And then you go into the select menu and ask for color range. So color range is one of the many ways to make selections in Photoshop. First, you have the eyedropper here selected. If you click on it, it's not selected any anymore. So select the first eyedropper. And with that eyedropper, you will click on the blue part, uh, on the color part of your car, blue in my case, but you have different colors. So with the first eyedropper, you click on the blue part of uh, the color part of your car. So if you made that mistake clicking OK, do, do not do that. But if you, if you did it, you just have to cancel the color range before going back into the dialog box. Otherwise, 
really, it will really be a problem. So if you clicked OK by mistake, just cancel the color range in the, in the edit menu, menu and then go back into select color range. And once again, with the eyedropper, just click on the color of your car. Then, with the other eyedropper here, with the plus sign, you will click on some other colors in your picture here. And you will see that the, the more you click on different shades of blue uh, or your color of car, the more the car will look white here in the dialog box. Of course, you do not click on grey parts of, of your car, only the colored parts, the different shades of color. Okay, so it must not be perfect. If you are able to see the silhouette of the car in white in the dialog box, it's okay. If you've gone too far, do not use the eyedropper with the minus sign, it does not work well. If you've gone too far, just cancel and go back into the dialog box. Or for those of you who wish to use that feature, you alt, you use the alt key and the cancel button change itself into a reset and it may work too. So here I'll click OK 